Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. It is Ryan and Jill and Mike. <laughs> we are on a Disney Cruise Line bus. Going to Port Canaveral to look at the brand new Disney Wish and get a sneak peek of the Disney treasure. I don't even know what I expected, but it totally blew me away. Yeah. before and to find out all the new amazing stuff about the treasure is like beyond yourself. So look at we are actually dressed in the theme of the treasure ship. Adventure. Adventure theme. So stay tuned you guys come along with us and learn alongside us what the new Disney treasure is going to have in store. Thank you so much to Disney for inviting us on this adventure. We just got onto the Disney Wish. I don't want to talk too loud. I hope they can hear me. But we're in a theater right now and they're going to show us some stuff about mm -hmm. the treasure. And I can just tell you so far what we have seen, it is spectacular. But again, again, we're on the Disney Wish because the Disney treasure is not launched yet. Um, but we'll have information today on when that's going to happen and what that's going to be like. It's a sister ship to the Wish. They wanted to show us the Wish just so we could have an idea of what the treasure might be like. Cruise Line and Carlos Jimenez, who of course is our managing producer of entertainment uh, at Disney Cruise Line as well. So a great big welcome to our three panelists joining us today. Now, we just saw an amazing video telling us, like doing a... Reviewing everything about the treasure. Everything new about the treasure, which, like, I don't even know what I expected, but it totally blew me away. Yeah. You know, we are huge fans of the Disney Cruise Line, and a lot of you found our channel by searching Disney Cruise Line and watching our cruise videos. Our family has so many wonderful memories and iconic moments that have happened on Disney cruises that it really is near and dear to our heart. So you can imagine how excited we were to get a sneak peek of this newest ship. It will set sail on December 21st in 2024. It will hold over 1,500 crew members and 4,000 passengers. We learned so much more about all the new things that the Disney Treasure has in store. We were like kids in a candy store throughout this whole tour because first of all, we'd never been on the Wish, and second of all, to learn like what the treasure is going to be like was just over the top. So we hope to get you a sneak peek of as many spaces as we can on the treasure to get you just as excited as we are. Yeah. My favorite thing, my, my favorite thing is, guess what? A Jungle Cruise inspired bar that's I mean, Jungle Cruise. Like how If they're not is... careful, Dad's gonna hop behind the bar and start uh, well, You know what? If you don't I, believe I, her, she's in denial. <laughs> it's the little things for me, like the decoration on my decaf latte. There are over 125 that you can get and the chargers underneath the coffee bar. I've never seen that on a ship before. On the Disney treasure, this space is going to be called Sarabi, and instead of being themed as it is on the Wish, it's going to be themed like the Lion King. All right, so in addition to the window, there's this upper deck, and we have this whole bar area right now, right here, uh, with views of the stage and the screen, and then back here. Oh, look at it! Little lounging couches, and you'll see there's charger ports. Oh my gosh! Under the see, you guys, that is little, huge. Little table right here. We can totally sit around here and talk, play cards, eat. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. We would hang out here. What? Yeah, you want to eat? Are you ready to eat? That'd be a yes. <laughs> so they have a VR, a virtual reality option. So Ryan is going to put these on. Look down at the floor. Do you see a blue circle? I do. Are you standing within the blue circle? It looks like I am. Okay, cool. So look straight ahead. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Uh, the, the periscope. This virtual reality put put no, Ryan no, in the middle of what the oh, new space is going to look like oh, in the Disney Treasure. It's called the Periscope Pub, which is based on the uh, 20,000 Leagues so Under the Sea. Ryan, can you get me a drink? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Where, where's the wine? <laughs> Mike and I are going to stick with the tablet. Oh, look. So as you move it around, you can see what it's going to look like. That's awesome. So Mike, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea was one of the, well, first of all, in a movie, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the old attractions at Walt Disney World. Okay, we used to call it. Yeah, yes. You used to, did you ever work it? God, well, tell me, tell me, I'll have a teller too. <laughs> Are you videoing? I'm so Oh, oh, that's cool. I like it. Let me see what the windows are gonna look like. Are they gonna show you like the outside windows? Or maybe that's it. Maybe the windows are square. Are the windows gonna be square? 
Hmm? No. Cool. No, right. What did you see, Ryan? Oh, there's poles. Look, look over that side. Oh, there's, okay. If you go over this. Oh, there's the portholes. Oh, if, you, okay. if you put it on the headset, it's it gives you an actual representation like that over there. That might make me throw up. Did it make you throw up? <laughs> no, it's great. Okay, I'll give it a try. You should. They've set out some food of what some sample food is going to be when you come on the Disney Treasure and you get to eat here in this. Now, this food, if you um, get it, is an extra charge. It's not included in your cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, what's your favorite? <clears throat> <laughs> Sneak in here. Okay, okay. okay. excellent. Oh, you guys, we are eating lunch in about like a half hour. <laughs> Just saying. And speaking of lunch, one of the new main dining venues will be Plaza de Coco. It's the world's first theatrical dining experience themed to the Disney and Pixar film Coco. All right, let me also address the fact that I'm dressed like this. You guys must be like, Jill, why are you wearing a hat? Like, what the heck is going on? Okay, so um, this, the Disney treasure is based all on adventure, and the captain of the Disney treasure is Minnie Mouse, and she has, her costume is very similar to this. So I dress up like Minnie Mouse today, so when I see her, she will know that I am ready for adventure. Ryan wore his adventure shirt. He has a hat. He's not wearing it, though. He didn't put it on. And Dad wore his yes. adventure shirt. He's got a little map on his. Oh, yeah. You got the belt. Oh, my goodness. Good. <laughs> that is awesome. I can step in if you need it. All right. We're walking through the different spaces on the Wish, which again is a sister ship for the treasure. This right here on the Wish is the Bayou, so it's Tiana uh, themed, but this is where Mike's Jungle Cruise Lounge is going to be. And it's called Skipper Society. We are in the Grand Hall, which is the main sort of atrium area on the ship. And on the Disney Wish, you can see it's very fairy tale, very princess oriented, um, sort of like the castle. But here oh, on the mom, did you look at this? I, well, I, I will. <laughs> but the experience on the treasures, so it's going to be the same setup apparently. But the decor and the whole feel is going to be that of adventure. And where on the Wish, you see we have Cinderella over here as a bronze statue. It's going to be Aladdin and Jasmine. This is such a cool thing. I'd heard about this, but I didn't really understand it. There is a slide. So this is the grand hall, they call it. And look at, little kids can go in that slide and they take the slide down one flight and that takes them to the kids club. How cool is that? And speaking of kids spaces, wouldn't be a family vacation without activities for the kids. On board the Disney Treasure, there will be the Marvel Superhero Academy, Star Wars Cargo Bay, Fairy Tale Hall, Walt Disney Imagineering Lab, and Mickey and Minnie's Captain's Deck. The treasure will also have the same teen space vibe as the Disney Wish. This is where we met some cool characters. Ryan got to tell tales with Arthur Quinn. He's the ultimate adventurer on the Disney treasure. And then he had the opportunity to play with the guitar from Coco and we sang a little Poco Loco. This is our Marvel dining experience, which is a totally new thing. So they have it on the Wish, obviously that's what we're doing, but they're doing something similar on the treasure. Hi, thank you, thank you. This restaurant is Marvel themed and it's an interactive type meal thing. We're not exactly sure what to expect, but I can tell you that look, there are screens right in all the walls. And we also have one of these. Every table has one of these. I'm not sure what it's called or what it does, but it's somehow that's how. A quantum generator, thank you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go with quantum generator. <laughs> and Mike is most impressed with the lunch choices. I know. <laughs>
Here we go. Good evening, everyone. Please welcome Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne. Thank you. I just, you know what? I need to breathe, find my chi. I just need 15 minutes to. We're <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott Lang. Um, but you might know me as Ant Man. And I am Hope Van Dyne, the Wasp. Kill Thanos in a really creative way. <laughs> First of all, it's <laughs> gross. <laughs> Secondly, it's much more complicated than that. Allow me to explain. Right, this is our sampler appetizer. Comes with our meal. It's delightful. I have a glass of bubbly. Some, brush, some uh, prosciutto and mozzarella. I don't know what that is. Lime, marinated shrimp, and some kind of something. Vegetables. Rosemary roasted beef tenderloin. Oh. Thank you. Where's the water? Where's the water? <laughs> this was so much fun. Can you believe the luck? It's really just, oh, I think I've left the group. Hold on. See, I really could be a castaway on this ship and I would be totally fine with that. I think they would ever find me. Oh my goodness, you guys, there are so many things to talk about. I didn't even talk about Jambo Sweets yet. This is an ice cream parlor that is themed after Disney's Zootopia. The Aqua Mouse, which is one of the only water roller coasters at sea, also, all the luxurious staterooms and concierge suites and royal suites. There's going to be four royal suites. There's actually going to be a suite in the in the smokestack. There's so many new things on the treasure. Just keep your eyes peeled for more to come because this is really just a sneak peek. Comment below what else you'd like to know about the Disney treasure and if you'd like to go on it. Can't get enough? Watch this playlist for more Donnelly's on Disney Cruise Line.